So let's talk a little bit about true leaves. Um, so I don't know if many of you know, but when your first seed start, I'll have a good example here. This germinated a little, a little bit later than this guy over here. These are just the cotyledons that open up to give the plant energy to be able to establish a root system. When you use starting to use up the energy on the cotyledons, what ends up happening is that true leaves start to form. So you can see here, this is a cotyledon. This is the first set of true leaves. And you can see where this cotyledon, kind of, this other one is dying off. The plant doesn't need it anymore. Same here. This is very normal. It first alarmed me when I started growing um, pak choy because I was like, oh my gosh, my leaves are turning yellow. Something's wrong. Nothing is wrong with your plant. It's perfectly fine. Um, you just have to make this as a trigger point for going, okay, it needs more nutrients because it's establishing its first set of true leaves for these. But you, it's definitely good. Pak choy is a really good example. There are some that are harder to detect, like carrots, for you know, you don't want these guys turning yellow when they get their first set of true leaves. So their first set of true leaves would be these little guys right here. They're much harder to kind of decipher like these guys right here. Now, if I come over here to parsnips, you can totally see that they have a second set of leaves. They're small, but they're mighty. And they're there. And this one's developing its uh, second set of leaves. So any of the ones that you see coming out of the center, there's going to be their first set of true leaves, their second set of leaves total when you look at it. Because when you're first initially starting out, you're like, oh, it's got, it's good, it's up, it's sprouted. That's not actually true leaves that come up. They're just the cotyledons to give it energy. So here we have a buttercrunch lettuce. And the cotyledons are down here. These guys that are starting to yellow a little bit. The first set of leaves are here, and now it's actually on its second set of leaves. Um, you can see a little bit where the cotyledons are getting a little bit of what looks to be like leaf spot. It's, I don't think it actually is, but we'll keep an eye on it to make sure it's not leaf spot. Leaf spot is very... You can clearly see it. Now that might actually be some leaf spot right there. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. When it's when it's yellow, a circle, and then it is a little bit yellow on the outside, that's usually a good indicator that leaf spot is a problem. I did take these guys outside though um, on a fairly windy day, and so they might have gotten a little bit of. Uh, burn from the cold wind. So I'll just keep an eye on them. It's okay that they have, a, they're not perfect. They have a little bit of spots on them, you know, grumpiness that's happening in the plant. It's okay if it grows and there's not any issues and it's just one or two leaves here or there. It's completely fine. And these are my broccolis that I have right here. Again, you can see the cotyledons are kind of yellowing and dying off. These, um, the first set of true leaves are still green and happy and healthy, so they're okay. So don't panic if you see some cotyledons turning yellow. It's just the plant signaling to you, hey, I need more nutrients, and that I have my true set of leaves, and this is where my energy is going to come from.